Hi there, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting. I have got um, a cute little kind of bag box thing, um, but I mucked up my score lines on this, so I'm going to show you how to do this properly. But this works really well if you've got like those mini chocolate bars, but these, this one, it's quite thick. You could actually get a hefty chocolate bar in there or a couple of, a couple of them, and you could probably um, adapt the measurements on here as well so this gives you a one and a half inch kind of depth to this but you can change the measurements up um, I've made smaller ones than this before now and I've put things like little mini fudge bars and those dark chocolate raspberry truffle bars you can you can make it to whatever size you want and I used to make this using the tag topper punch of course that's gone now so um can't do that so I'm just going to do a plain version of this for now I'm not going to put anything on the front of it I'm just decorating it with a bit of ribbon um, I've literally just done a very simple knot because you know I'm rubbish at bows um, but this is the um, this is the DSP from Celebration which starts this Friday Friday yes the 1st of July sorry I couldn't remember the date and um, this is called Rings of Love um, it's got all sorts of designs in this. This is one of them. It's really nice. It's also got a bit of a summery feel, but it's a bit of an autumnal feel in there as well. Um, that's on the back, if you like, trees. Um, so it's quite versatile, this paper. It's got all sorts of things going on in it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. But if this is the first time that you've come across me, um, if this is, um, you know, you've not seen me before, but you really like craft, and if you really like this video, why not come and just give a little subscribe, click on the like button, hit the bell to be notified. I try and do two, at least two projects a week. I was a bit lapsed last week because just, just too busy at work. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this. Let me show you what to do. You need a piece of 6x12 DSP and you need something, you need to watch the direction of this because what we're going to effectively do is kind of fold that in half. So the back, if you had a one direction piece of paper, this would then be upside down. So check that. You don't want anything that runs across like that either. So try and go for something that has no direction to it whatsoever. So I'm going to use that side, um, not that side. So that's six by 12. And on the long side, I'm going to get my scoreboard out. And on the long side, we're going to score at, and I must give a bit of credit to where I've got this from. I've seen lots of people do this. So um, Sally Stampers, she was the first person that I saw do this. Um, and I, I cased that. Oh, years ago um, and then just recently I've just seen um, Pootles do this as well with different measurements so um, I've just given the credit for who I've seen it I don't know who came up with the original idea um, they're the two people that I've seen do this so on the long side you are going to score at five and a quarter and at six and three quarters And then on the short side, score at one and a half. Whoops, let's try that again. One and a half and four and a half. Like that. So that's all we need to do. Four lines and that's it. It does get a little bit tricky at this point, but I think if I was you, I would try this out on a scrap piece of paper first. Um, because once you've done it once, um, you've got it. But I, I found it very difficult to do it the first time. That's because I'm not very good at following instructions. So burnish all of these score lines. So the sides and then... those two middle ones there so that's what you have so two folds there and two folds there 
So what we're going to do is this. So here we have two score lines. What you're going to do is manipulate the paper so that this bottom score line then sits on this score line and this top score line sits on that fold there or that score line. You do the same here, so you fold that over and then this score line, you're going to fold the paper over so it sits on this fold and then the same with this one here, you fold it over so it sits on this fold. Let me show you. So here is, we've got score line one, score line two. This score line, score line two, you are going to fold it over. You need to make sure that you've got that, this kind of little corner crease in there. Stick your nail in there. If you haven't got a nail, your bone folder will do it. And then you are encouraging that fold and it goes easier than you think, but it needs to sit absolutely flush to that fold line like that. And then inside here, let me show you, hang on, inside here, it's then created that triangle like that. And then just burnish it there with your bone folder or with a nail like that. I'm going to show this for all four. This one, take it. I push my nail right where those two score lines meet. So where that fold and that score line meets, I put my nail in there, not hard, otherwise you'll burst the paper. Bring that fold line over and sit it absolutely flush to the side there. That creates that diagonal fold in the middle. And then burnish it. And then we're going to do it the same on the other side. Now, I don't know about you, when I start to see new techniques like this, I'm literally start, pause, start, pause, trying to watch it. So with this one, it's the bottom one, you bring it round to the side. So I'm just going to pop my nail in there as I fold it round. We're bending it, really. And then that score line, that fold line, sits flush on that fold line. I hope you can see that. I don't know how else I can show you. <laughs> Oh, I'm having to really fight with that one. I don't normally. Okay, so you can see that that creates that diagonal line. And take your time with it. You want it accurate. Otherwise, your box bag thing just won't sit properly. Yeah, that's okay. And then this one, we're going to just pop my nail in there where the two fold lines meet. And then bring that over and then sit that score line on top of the fold line. I thoroughly recommend you have a go with paper first or like an old piece of DSP. So you get that, it just automatically folds like that. And then you lift it up, lift both sides up and there it just sits and it just perfectly forms that box. It's so clever. So you would pop your treats in there, a bag of sweets would look uh, quite nice there. I never have bags of sweets um, because as soon as a bag of sweets has entered my house, I eat them. Um, so I haven't got anything to put in there. So that's not particularly well prepared, is it? But put your treats in there. Nothing too tall because it will fall out. But once that is shut there, it does tend to stay in. And then you can hold it down. Let's get that piece of that piece of ribbon. Now, if you're really good with bows, you could do a beautiful bow on a ribbon. But as you know, or you might not know, if this is the first time that you've seen me, I'm absolutely shocking with bows. That's just not even tight enough. Absolutely shocking, so I can't do it. So let me get my... Now my ribbon's disappeared. There it is. To get a length of ribbon. This is the Evening Evergreen um, Open Weave Ribbon. And they do this in all of the current, in um, the 2021 
23 in colours. And this is still current, this ribbon. I'm glad they kept this current. It's really nice. It's easy to use, especially for a bow phobic person like myself. And I'm not doing a bow, not on camera. So one knot, hold it down, two knots. Now this is part of a three, I'm just going to talk while I'm battling with this, 3D Thursday series that myself, Crafty Karen Designs and Vicky Lou Designs do. And we do a blog every Thursday and um, we show off our 3Ds on a Thursday. Um, so normally like gift boxes, gift bags, that type of thing. Um, I missed last week just because life got in the way, got a little bit on top of me. Um, but I'm back this week. And then I think the week before, Vicky Lou Designs couldn't make it. So it was. it's really been um, Karen that's been keeping it going. Um, So please, if you head down, there are some, there is a blog post that goes with this. So in the description bar below, just under here, um, if there is a link to my blog and on my blog is a link to their blogs. So have a look and see what they've made. Now, what you can do is put a nice sentiment on the front, but I just wanted to show you the main body of that box. I'm really chuffed with that. I think that's great. Um, I've never done one as, as wide as that before. I've always kept it narrow, and made it taller or kind of deeper. Um... Or, or narrower but I hope you like that I hope it inspires you to give it a go you just need one sheet of paper and you can make two but thank you for joining me and um, I hope to see you again soon because tomorrow is fun fold Friday I'll see you then bye bye <laughs>